TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to talk to you today about using Google as a calculator. Yeah, we're going to be able to do a little bit of math using Google. But before we get into that, I just want to show you some fundamentals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to a Word document that shows us some just very simple basic mathematical functions. And if you know these four things, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Obviously on the keyboard, the addition key is the plus sign, the subtraction key is the minus sign, divide is a forward slash, and multiply is an asterisk. So plus, minus, forward slash to divide, and uh, for multiply it's an asterisk. So if you know those things, you can easily use Google as a calculator. So let me just show you how to do that right now. Let's say, for example, we want to do something very simple, like we want to add two numbers together. Let's say we want to add 100 plus 100. Well, if I just simply now type in the equal sign, you're going to see that Google right here has calculated this out for you. So 100 plus 100. Let's say I want to take 100 and replace it with a minus sign. 100 minus 100 equals 0. Let's say we want to take 100 and we want to times 10. Well, I'm going to take a 0 out of here. and We know 100 times 10 is 1,000. And here it is right here. So it's telling us here in the search results and also down here on the calculator. But let's say we want to take 100 and divide it by 10. Well, again, I'm just going to put in the forward slash and we're going to find out that that number works out to 10. Let's make this a little more complicated and do something a little more complex by using this Google calculator to do more of a formula. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to delete everything out of here and I'm going to take 100 110, let's do 100 divided by 10, and then I'm going to put in an asterisk to multiply this number by 50. And then I'm going to type in minus 200 plus 1000. And what I want you to observe is down below, Google is actually putting the proper parentheses around this formula. Now, if you're a mathematician, if you're pretty good with algebra, you'll know that this is what has to happen to get this number. If you start moving things around, it will change some of the results. But the Google Calculator works to give you the answer to your question. So you can do simple calculations, or you can do more advanced calculations. What I urge you to do is mess around with Google and its math capabilities a little bit. It might surprise you. My name is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here. Have a great day.